Small doll. But wow, Cody, that's crazy. Isn't that insane? Um, and got, did you have any idea? Uh, well, yeah, I knew he was a douchebag. Oh, okay. from, from day one, I hated him. Yeah. He was probably the only person that I've ever come in contact with where I really wanted to just make him not exist anymore. Yeah. Which well, is a, you had a good instinct there, buddy. Good, right? Yeah, to come to, come to find out. He, it was like a couple years long, like, sting by the FBI to get people that wanted, he wanted to buy women. He was trying to buy them and keep them as slaves in his basement. Well, who doesn't? I mean, and really, put, <laughs> who doesn't? He had, he had chains so that they could go to the bathroom. Like he had the whole thing set up, like bulletproof <clears throat> glass on the windows so that they couldn't break out. Jesus like just Christ. Full on dude, full on horror movie bullshit. In some little like rural town. Can we just blow know? up all the rural towns at this point? And and they they do the the whole like interview with the neighbors and they're yeah. like, I had no used, idea. We used to see him walking his dog and we always thought he was kind of strange. Oh, okay. They're like, yeah, no, he's not kind of strange. He has a, it's a fucking, fucking slave lunatic. dungeon, Jesus. a torture slave dungeon in his house. Wow. And you know what you get for trying to buy a human being and keep them as a slave in a sex torture dungeon? Uh, five years. Seven. <laughs> Seven fucking years, man. Uh, see, here's the thing. <clears throat> That's not something that's going to change with seven years of prison. He no. needs to be locked up. He no. needs mental health uh, yes. evaluations. Yes. After, well, I'm sure like after that, it's with, you know, it's with um, evaluation and yeah. whatever. But And still, no more basements. He doesn't get so, to live in a house with a basement. No more, <laughs> no more basements, right? He's on basement probation. Ugh. Anyways, Jesus, life, life is weird, man. You live long enough and that kind of shit happens where you find out that yeah. some guy that you used to be around, even if you hated him. Yeah. You find out that bad things, and it's like, just weird. Yeah, it's just weird. So he never actually had anybody, though, right? He was just setting it up. Uh, I mean, allegedly, okay. you know, that's what they—that's what they got him on. Who knows what he may have done, uh, or you know. That's why, Cody. That's why we need virtual reality. Honestly, this is what we need. We need virtual reality, and then you can do whatever you want. Slave dungeon. The child right? stuff, whatever. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, because if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy someone yeah. for five to ten thousand yeah. dollars a person, yeah. you might as well just hook yourself up a nice, get yourself an Oculus or yeah. a uh, what's the H T C one? The Which Vive is better because Oculus is gonna watch you masturbate. Vive will will leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> so get yourself get yourself a Vive. Yeah. Uh, get yourself a two thousand dollar computer. Yep. Uh, and then you can just spend <clears throat> that money on as much virtual porn as you want. And then you don't have to um, destroy another human being's life or yep. multiple human being lives. You could just destroy your own life yep. and then no one will give a shit and uh, you you won't live under the threat of being stabbed in jail. Well, and that's the other thing too. I think that if we have virtual reality where you can do whatever you want, fine, do whatever you want. But if you do any of that stuff in the real world, if you hurt anybody, kill anybody, whatever, death penalty. Because there should be no excuse. There's no excuse. Like, if you've got a weird sexual kink and you like to lock people up in your dungeon, that's fine. But if you do it in real life, it's death penalty. Wow. All right. See? That's where I come down on that side well, of see, it. Now you're, now you're being see? harsh, man. What's up? Uh, no. Because <clears throat> it's funny because people are like, oh, violent games make you violent. I don't think they make you violent, and I don't think you get vi your violent tendencies out in them either. I think if you're a violent person, you're just going to be violent, you know? Absolutely. Um. So I don't think having... For that, in that regard, I don't think that having virtual reality is going to change anything for that. Violence is always, violence is everywhere, and it always yeah. has been. Yeah. It's not new. No. It's not um, something that we need to shield ourselves from. Uh, although, well, it, we we it, need to protect ourselves from it, but I mean, I mean, real violence, but not yeah. fictitious violence. Yeah. I'm just saying that, like all, almost all great literature, some level of violent content. Yeah. Most great video games, some level of violent content. Most great films, yeah. some level of violent content. Yeah. It's part it's, of telling a story. It's part most, of being human. Most good children's stories, mm -hmm. insane amounts of violent content. Yeah. Because it's like helping your brain settle in so that bad things happen in this world. Like, I don't know, man. We, I think by trying to sanitize those things, it becomes negative. Oh, uh, yeah. People don't know how to deal with real life and the difference between reality and fiction like, mm -hmm. because if you keep those lines nice and strong the difference between a video game and real life yeah 
No, absolutely, yeah. Um, I've never, oh jeez, would you two fight again, like, please? I know, it's, it's okay, you can, you can keep dodging. Yeah. Concentrate right. on the dodge. Um, I've never, I've never felt violent because of a violent video game, and I've played plenty of violent video games, you know? Yeah. I've never wanted to steal because I stole something in, in, um, I, in, um, Skyrim. Right. Right. I will tell you what, I have wanted to have a farm after playing Minecraft, though, because those pigs are cute! <laughs> You wanted a square pig? Yeah! You're like, but then I went to the pig farm and I said, where are the square pigs? And they're like, uh, that's not a thing, sir. And I cried for days. They're like, we'll make it a thing. We'll make little cages to keep them. Yeah. Oh, oh like uh, bonsai kittens? Yes, like bonsai kittens. Oh. The greatest prank ever. People got upset. Oh. People got upset. Thing. Well. <laughs> It would be a shame if they didn't do that to like bears. Have you seen what they do for bears to get um, bile from them? I think they, the bears. They like literally lock them in a cage the size of the bear. No. Yeah, and they yes. Yeah, I don't want to bring you down anymore, but trying to do some shitty things to bears. Wow. And I don't I don't particularly like bears myself. They eat bears eat baby bears. I may I have said this before, but I think I think Dark Souls is getting to us, man. It is right. It's making I think us we dark. We are becoming Dark Souls. We've already. Uh... Uh, child, child star bank robbery. Yep. Uh, sex dungeons. Sex dungeons. Uh, yeah. Not for the faint of heart. Nope. Sorry, kids. We better put a warning on this one. Yeah. Let's talk about happy things. Let's talk about the new Pokemon game that's coming out. What? Sun and Moon. What? Another 151 Pokemon. I'm gonna have to learn, and they're probably all. It's probably gonna be a table knife. Uh, a table knife. It's probably gonna be a chair. Uh, the Pokemon that is um, overdue bills. The sunglasses what Pokemon. So what you're saying is, is they've pretty much run out of things to make Pokemon out of. Yeah. So now it's just, they're like, they're like Brick in uh, Anchorman, just looking yeah. around the room. Yeah. <laughs> I like, love Lamp. Po Pokemon Lamp. Like yeah. Brick, are you just, are you just naming Pokemons based on things in this room? Well, have you seen any of the new Pokemon? There's like literally, there's a chandelier, an ice cream cone, a, a set of keys. I'm not even joking you. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And before that, shit, this guy's an asshole. That sounds awful. Uh, before that, it was a uh, num. Uh, it was um. There were Pokemon that were like letters and stuff. Oh. They're like. Oh fuck this guy! Fuck this guy, Cody. This guy's like, a goddamn asshole. Fuck him. Like, oh no, it's a pizza zord. Or yeah. Whatever, like. Yeah, well, they had Magmite in the original and Voltorb in the original 151. So and Paul, Paul, Porygon, they, we they weren't like real animals, but I did die. This guy's an asshole in his second form. Um, there's enough animals in real life that you yeah. can yeah basically to infinity, yeah. like just head of a dragon with the body of something else, and you don't have to get into like all the inanimate objects. Like, yeah. oh, it's a ceiling fan. Like, what? How is it a let me, a Pokemon? let me let me ask you a question. I'm gonna I'm gonna name off some animals, and you tell me. Here we go. Okay, so whale, yeah, crab. Uh huh. Um. Wait, what am I telling you? Are you, you you'll, you'll uh, which one is not has not been turned into a Pokemon? Oh. Uh, a dugong, uh, a narwhal, what? Um, a kangaroo, a dolphin, a seagull, and a an anteater. Which one uh, of those isn't a Pokemon already? Mm, seagull? Dolphin! What? Everything else is a Pokemon! They haven't made a dolphin Pokemon yet! Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, hey, you uh, you, you guys are thinking about uh, making a dolphin Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Wait, why not? They've <laughs> made. <laughs> they've made keys, they've made a chandelier, they just, they've never made a dolphin Pokemon. Oh, well, there, there you go. Maybe all of the Pokemon in the new Pokemon will just all be dolphin related. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, do you have that new dolphin-related Pokemon? Uh, yeah, the one that's all dolphins. I love it. Just all dolphins all the time. Dolphini's my favorite dolphin. Oh, yeah. I like Dolfango the best. He's got really good starting abilities, and he breeds well with Dartini. Dolph Dolphini. <laughs> my preference is Dolphin Lundgren. <laughs> oh, Dolph Lundgren. Oh, that's awesome. He's an 80s action star, now in Kindergarten Cop 2. <sighs> you know, we needed another one 30 years later. <sighs> what was what was right about the first kindergarten cop? Oh, uh, uh, a foreigner who doesn't speak English too well. Yeah. Being a cop with kids, and he's also big. He's big. Yeah. 
Ugh. The first it's kindergarten good. cop didn't do well. Why are they making a second? Uh, it did okay. There were ferrets in that one. There were ferrets. I remember that. That was, that was one of the best parts, man. Yeah, that was my introduction to ferrets. I yeah, didn't I know what that a ferret was. was. Like, I want one of those. Everybody I don't know did. what that is, but I want one of those. It's like a cat weasel. Right? Who and why don't they call them that? Because cat, cat weasel, weasels? <laughs> because... I, I Doc, like... my cat weasel has measles. <laughs> oh. oh, no. No. <laughs> cat weasel. No, not cat weasel measles. Those are incurable. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, but your cat weasel has measles. He has the weasel. cat weasel measles. Um, and we will put him down for a small feasels. Um, <laughs> so, um, oh shit, he's bad, coming. Bad, bad, He's coming. Um, get what I was going to say. Okay. Oh, good. No! He's dementoring me again. I don't want it. Stop. I just, oh. Stop. My other problem too is I'm used to having better armor and a better sword, but I have my. Not Shang Tsung, me motherfucker. I know. Oh, you're right. Your soul is mine. He's trying to become Emafim, but there's only one. Oh, he killed him. Awesome. Thank you. Yay! The nice part about this is when they fight, I get the souls. Whenever anything dies for any reason, I get the souls from it. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, this is actually like, a good. You just soul. run around tapping things on the shoulder so they yeah. see the other person. Like, what? The... Ah. what was that? I wish everything would fight itself, but only certain things do. But yeah, if you come into an area like this, sometimes you find stuff that fights itself. Shit, I dodged too early. <sighs> Might have to do this off screen a bit. I don't no! know. Okay, here we go. Focusing up. All well, my was attention. Is this off screen or was, is this it? Hmm? <laughs> attention. 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 Ugh. The attention tension. Yeah, the tension of the. Ah, oh, shit. Now there's two of them. I don't need this. And why are you kicking up dust? Why are you... <sighs> I can't see. That's bullshit. I yeah. call bullshit on the dust. Oh my god! This is frustrating. Uh, I don't know what happened, Cody. He's doing so well. Fuck off. You know why? We started being positive. Yeah. We started Fuck talking off. about positive things and... Fight each other already. Dolphin Pokemon, next thing yeah. you know, death and destruction. Oh, oh yeah, new Pokemon, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon Pokemon. Not not else not much else is known. Pokemon Sun and Moon like sounds like a Thai restaurant. Oh yeah, it does. Hey, uh, did you guys go to Pokemon Sun Moon? Like, yeah, yes, Pokemon yeah. Sun Moon. Oh dude, I got the I got the pad fa. <laughs> I got the pad squirtle. Yeah. Oh no, we don't eat oh, turtle soup. No! This why Oh for fuck's sake with these assholes. Ugh. The problem is, is I can't predict their movements. And they come from such a long way away. Fuck off, fuck off. And there's five of them. Okay. Um, no pressure. I mean, everyone is watching. I know, right? And judging too. We're not, they're not just watching, they're judging. And I only have two Estus flasks on this one. Maybe I should just dodge until they fight each other to death. This. I believe in you. Thank you, buddy. What's that? Oh, there's still shit fighting outside the front door. All right, I think he does like three attacks, so I just have to wait for the third. Two, one more. Nope, I'll just two on that one. Okay, I think I just have to be more patient. Like, that's really the thing with this game, is just patience, 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 patience. And patience! First time. Uh-oh, he's coming in! It's just coming one in hit, hot. and then get out. Coming in hot! Oh, you asshole! Literally and figuratively. No! Because there's speed associated with this. Yeah. Like he's coming in, but <laughs> also that it's flaming sword. And his style. His style's pretty hot. His style's pretty hot. I like it. He's, he's a he's a hot one. You know what Paris Hilton would say about this? Nothing, because she doesn't play video games. Oh. See, you thought I was going all the way with it, but I went another. Wow. Yeah. I was surprised you remembered that, man. <laughs> like catchphrase from 2000. It was like the first meme. That's hot. Shit. Oh. He's like 
just perfectly getting all my dodges and rolls. My my question is, does she still say that? Like I don't if know. it wasn't if it wasn't scripted, and she's she's like Bart Simpson still saying like eat my shorts, cow man, or eat my shorts or whatever. Yeah, oh, he got me up against the wall on that one. Yeah, exactly. Eat my shorts. I love that they basically got rid of all that after like the first season of Simpsons. Yeah. First, uh, second season. They're yeah. Like, yeah, they need more. Well, they they started being more topical. Like the first couple of uh, Simpsons uh, seasons of Simpsons were like, oh, it's the Simpsons. But then they started to be topical, and now they don't need all the gimmicky stuff anymore. Right, right. And then the characters had to have their catchphrases, yeah. except for comic book guy. Yeah. Worst Shit. comic book store ever. Do you see what's going on here right now, Cody? Do you see what's happening? I do. One hit. One hit. That's where we're at. Boom! Shakalaka. That's how we do that shit in the hood, son. Oh, I don't know why I said that. Thank you. See, I can do it. And I only failed like three times off screen. So it really wasn't it really wasn't too much of a hassle. I just needed to get hey. his patterns down. Hey, Joe. Yeah, buddy? You're, you're not from the hood. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't know what came over me. Oh. You see the other guys were... Uh... Will Ferrell's character used to be a pimp. He, uh, like, he no. breaks into it every once in a while. <laughs> no, but that's hilarious. I think his name's Gator. Gator. Like I'm gonna be like, Gator doesn't put up with that shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh. I just, it's randomly. Oh, uh, that's funny. Is that is? Uh, aren't they making a new one of that? A, a, a sequel? I don't know. Are they? I thought they were. It's it's the uh, it's the one with Marky Mark and. Yeah, and uh, Will Ferrell. They've been in a bunch of other movies together, so I don't I don't know if they would make another other guys, but it did have its moments. 